We are in lesson 233. This is a spelling dictation lesson. I'm going to dictate words within sentences. All of these words that we will be, be spelling are going to be vowel group three words, meaning they will contain a silent E at the end of the word. And the first vowel in each of these words will represent its long sound. We're using real words, not nonsense words here. However, I want to warn you, some of these sentences are pretty nonsensical. They don't make a lot of sense. Remember, the whole point of this exercise is to present you with words to illustrate whatever skill we're developing. And particularly at the beginning of the program, the number of words to choose from would be somewhat limited, to put it mildly. And that therefore results in the fact that some of these sentences even though we use real words, are somewhat nonsensical. But that's okay. We're, it serves our purpose because our purpose is simply to develop words in these sentences that will illustrate, in this instance, vowel group three words. So we have a total of nine sentences in this lesson, and I begin with sentence one, which is, We went on a drive and had to cope with bugs for a time. We went on a drive and had to cope with bugs for a time. We went on a drive, drive, four sounds, d, r, i, v, drive, and had to cope, cope, three sounds, k, o, cope with bugs for a time time three sounds t i m mm, time we went on a drive and had to cope with bugs for a time sentence 2 in our haste we strove to quote the cute scribe in our haste, we strove to quote the cute scribe. In our haste, haste, four sounds. H, A, S, T, haste. Now here we have the long A sound, but notice there are two consonants that separate the A from the silent E at the end of the word. So most of the time, you'll only have one consonant between the first vowel and the silent E, but that's not a hard and fast rule. As you can see in this word, there are two consonants between the silent E and the first vowel. In our haste, we strove, strove, five sounds. S, T, R, O, V, strove, to quote, Quote, four sounds, first two sounds, qua, o, t, quote. Remember in English, Q-U is used to represent K and W, and we almost never spell words with K and W when you hear that those two sounds combined. You use Q-U. This is a consonant team. U is considered part of the consonant team here. It's not a vowel. In our haste, we strove to quote the cute, cute. This has four sounds, k. Second and third sounds, u, t, cute. Now, u represents two long sounds. It's the only vowel that has two long sounds instead of one. The primary or the first long sound for you is U, where you simply say the name of the letter. The second long sound for the letter U is U, as in the word dude. But when you look at the first long sound for you, it's actually composed of two individual sounds, the Y sound, Y, and the OO sound, U. That's why I say in the word cute, we really have four sounds embedded in this word. But we use the letter U to represent two of those sounds, which 
would be the yuh sound and the oo sound combined. This is the first long sound for you. When you represents its first long sound, no special mark is made to it. However, when you represents its second long sound, you would double underline the U in that instance where it represents the sound oo. And then the final word in this sentence is scribe. Scribe, which has five sounds. S, K, R, I, B. Scribe. In our haste, we strove to quote the cute scribe. Sentence three. I like to bathe in the pure lake and hose off the grime. I like to bathe in the pure lake and hose off the grime. I like, like, three sounds. L, I, K, like. Now, why do we use K in the word like to spell that sound? Because if you, you can't use CK unless you have a short vowel directly in front of it. And in the word like, the I is long. Therefore, we have to use K to represent the sound K. I like to bathe, bathe, three sounds. B, A, Th, bathe. TH is representing its second sound here. So we double underline it. The first sound for TH is and the second sound for TH is and when TH represents its second sound, we double underline it. I like to bathe in the pure, pure. Again, this has four sounds. Second and third sounds, U, er, pure. U is representing its first long sound, which is the sound Y combined with the sound OO. Now, how do you know for sure that this is representing its first long sound, not its second long sound? The second long sound for U is U. Well, try pronouncing the word both ways, and you'll see the difference right away. First, let's pronounce it the way we normally do, pure, where we're representing the first long sound of the value. But now let's try pronouncing it where it represents its second long sound, which would simply be the oo sound, and you would say the word poor, poor. That's not what this word is, and that's not how we say it. So you must pronounce this word with the Y and the OO sounds to represent the long U sound here. And no special mark is made to you when it represents its first long sound. I like to bathe in the pure lake. Lake, three sounds. L, A, K, lake. And hose, hose, three sounds. H, O, Z, hose. Here S represents its second sound, so we double underline it. Hose off the grime. Grime, four sounds, g, r, i, m, grime. I like to bathe in the pure lake and hose off the grime. Sentence four, the stride of the hike will make us whine and drone. The stride of the hike will make us whine and drone. The stride, stride, five sounds. S, t, r, i, d. Stride. The stride of the hike, hike. Three sounds. H, i, k, hike. Will make, make, three sounds. M, a, Make us whine, whine, three sounds, wh, i, n, whine, and drone, drone, four sounds, d, r, o, n, drone. The stride of the hike will make us whine and drone. Notice in the word whine, we use WH to represent the sound wh. 
And whine in this instance means to complain. We have another way to spell the word whine, which would be W-I-N-E, which is a totally different word, meaning a totally different thing. Wine is an alcoholic beverage that we drink. Sentence five. We rose while the sun was a flame and drove to the glade. We rose while the sun was a flame and drove to the glade. We rose, rose, three sounds, r, o, z, rose. Double underline the s here because it's representing its second sound. While, while, three sounds, w, i, u, while, the sun was a flame, flame, four sounds, f, u, a, m, flame, and drove, drove, four sounds, d, r, o, v, drove, to the glade, glade, four sounds, g, u, a, d, glade. We rose while the sun was aflame and drove to the glade. Sentence six. The prize is a jade globe on a pole and a pine throne. The prize is a jade globe on a pole and a pine throne. The prize, prize, four sounds, p, r, i, z, prize, is a jade, jade, three sounds, j, a, d, jade, globe, globe, four sounds, g, o, o, b, globe, on a pole, Pole, three sounds, p, o, o, pole, and a pine, pine, three sounds, p, i, n, pine, throne, throne, four sounds, f, r, o, n, throne. The prize is a jade globe on a pole and a pine throne. Remember I said at the beginning of the dictation lesson that some of these sentences are, even though we're using real words, they're somewhat nonsensical, and this is a good example of that. Sentence seven. The gaze of the wife of the squire is not cute, but rude. The gaze of the wife of the squire is not cute, but rude. The gaze, gaze, three sounds, g, a, z, gaze, of the wife, wife, three sounds, w, i, f, wife, of the squire, squire, five sounds, s, Second and third sounds, qua, I, er, squire, is not cute, cute, four sounds, k, second and third sounds, u, t, cute, here u is representing its first long sound, which is the sound y and the sound u combined, but rude, rude. Three sounds, r, u, d, rude. The gaze of the wife of the squire is not cute, but rude. Notice at the end of this sentence that in the word cute, u is representing its first long sound, so no special mark is made to the u. But in the word rude, 
we have two lines under the U because U is representing its second long sound, which is the sound U. We don't make a mark when U represents its first long sound, but we put two lines under U when the U is representing its second long sound. Sentence eight. I chose to use the frame to make a wire case for the Duke. I chose to use the frame to make a wire case for the Duke. I chose, chose, three sounds, ch, o, z, chose. S is representing its second sound here, double underline it. To use, use, we have three sounds in this word. The first two sounds in this word, u, third sound, z, use. U is representing its first long sound here, which is the Y sound, Y, followed by the sound U, U. S is representing its second sound. I chose to use the frame, frame, four sounds, F, R, A, M, frame, to make, make, three sounds, M, A, K, make, a wire, wire, three sounds, w, i, er, wire, case, case, three sounds, k, a, s, case, for the duke, duke, three sounds, d, u, k, duke. I chose to use the frame to make a wire case for the duke. Notice in this sentence we have U representing its first long sound in the word use, and in the word duke, the U is representing its second long sound, U. When U represents its second long sound, we double underline the U. Our final sentence, nine, the whale rose on the wave and did graze against the tube. The whale rose on the wave and did graze against the tube. The whale, whale, three sounds, wa, a, ul, whale, rose, rose, three sounds, r, o, z, rose, on the wave, wave, three sounds, wa, a, v, wave, and did graze, graze, four sounds, g, r, a, z, graze, against the tube, tube, three sounds, t, u, b, tube. The whale rose on the wave and did graze against the tube. And this completes the dictation of sentences from lesson 233.